Hey everyone, welcome to Effects Creation. Today we are going to create this. So let's get started. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, this is our final comp. Then create a image placeholder comp. This is called image placeholder 1. Then import your image into the image placeholder comp. Scale down according to the composition. Now create one more composition. This is called ink mat. I have some elements here. So import ink transition footage into the timer line. Here you can see our footage. Now create a new solid layer. Drag the solid layer below the transition footage, and change track mat, Lumo inverted mat, so. Wherever there is a white area, it will be visible, and the rest of the area will be transparent. Now create one more composition. This is called frame. Now select the rounded rectangle tool, and create a rectangle like this. Go to layer and open rectangle 1, then open rectangle path 1 and increase the roundness, around 50. Select layer, and fill color white. And stroke none. Now go to final comp, and import image placeholder and ink mat into the timer line. Then select image placeholder layer, and change track mat, alpha mat, so it's, look something like this. Cool. Select image placeholder and search tint effect. And change the black color, with little dark red color. Now import frame comp into the timer line. Turn on collapse icon, and rotate the frame little bit, as per your choice. Perfect. Now duplicate the frame layer, then import image placeholder 1 comp into the timer line, below the top frame layer, select image placeholder and change track mat alpha mat, so our image look like this. Cool. Now select the bottom frame layer and search fill color. Change the color little dark red color. Then search fast blur effect. And increase the blurriness as per your choice. And change the layer opacity around 50%. Now we need to create a outline, so duplicate the frame comp. Then go to timeline and duplicate the frame layer. Now hold alt key and drag the frame to comp over the frame comp. Now open it, select the layer, fill color none. And stroke around 15 pixels. So it's, something look like this. Cool, that's look perfect. Select all layers and pre-compose them. I call this media 1. Now create some dots elements, so create a new comp. I call this dots. Then create a new solid layer. Change color white. Then search CC ball action effects. 
grid spacing 15 and ball size 5 so it's look like this now again create a new solid layer then search fractal noise effect fractal type turbulent smooth noise type spline increase the contrast around 400 and brightness minus 70 then open transform and increase the scale 500 now animate the evolution go to first frame and add a keyframe then go to around 10 to 15 second forward and change the evolution cycle 8 cool now search fast blur effect and increase the blur radius around 30 and check repeat edge pixels now search CC toner effect and change the mid-tones white select the dots layer and change track matte luma matte so it's look something like this great that's look perfect now go to final comp and import dots comp into the timeline so here you can see the dots effects cool now create a new comp this is dirt comp then open elements folder and import micro dirt footage into the timeline then create a new solid layer and this should be white now select the solid layer and change track matte luma matte so wherever there is a white area it will be visible and the rest of the area will be transparent now go to final comp and import dirt comp into the timeline here you can see the effect create one more composition I call this plus then import plus footage into the timeline create a white solid layer and change the matte luma matte go to final comp and import plus comp into the timeline cool here I have a particle footage also so do the same process with particle footage I am move this part little fast so that you don't have to wait after done all the process with particle footage now create a new comp this is our text placeholder one width 1200 and height 300 pixels select text tool and type your text now animate the text so open text layer go to animate and select position and opacity change the X position around 150 then expand range select a one then expand advance change shape ramp up and ease high minus 100% also change the opacity 0% now go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset and change the amount minus 100% then go to around 2 second forward and change the offset amount 100% select last keyframe and easy ease them and adjust your graph like this also turn on the randomize order cool that's look perfect now again create a new comp with same width and height here I have a watercolor so import this into the timeline and squeeze the footage like this now create another new comp this is called text comp 
then import text placeholder and watercolor comp into the timeline. Open watercolor comp. Select the watercolor layer, right click. Go to time, enable time remapping, and increase the layer. Now select watercolor layer comp, and apply tint effect, and change the white color, dark red color. Cool, now go to final comp, and import text comp into the timeline. Resize the comp around 50%. Select all layers and turn on 3D layer. Then create a new camera. I am going to use 28mm camera. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on position. Then go to around 6 second forward and slightly move the Z position close to camera. I think our frame looks too big. So open Medium 1 Comp, select all frame layers, and change the scale around 80%. Cool. Now go to last keyframe and change the Z position. Also change the particle opacity 30%. Select Dirt Layer, and search Fill Effects. And change the color, Light Gray Color. Perfect. Now go to 2 View Horizontal. Select Dots, Dirt and Plus Layer and slightly move Z position close to camera. Also move the Text Comp and you can resize the text according to your choice. Now create one more comp. This is our transition comp. Then go to elements folder and import ink footage into the timeline. Resize the footage like this. Then create a new solid layer. Change the color little red color. Select solid layer and change track matte Luma inverted matte. Select both layer and pre-compose them. I call this trans1. Then duplicate this trans1 layer and move right side of the composition. Adjust the both trans layer like this. Now go to final comp. And import transition comp into the timeline. Move the transition layer around 6 second forward. Now we need to animate the our main frame layer, so open Medium 1 Comp. Parent all frame layer with image placeholder 1 layer. and also parent ink matte layer with bottom image placeholder layer. Now select the image placeholder, go to around 2 and half second forward, and add a keyframe on position and rotation, then go to 1 second back, change the rotation minus 120 degree, and move the position right side of the corner,
select all keyframe and easy ease them. And adjust your graph something like this. Great, that's look perfect. Cool. Move the text comp around 2 second forward. Perfect. Select all layer and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1 comp. Let's make another scene, so duplicate scene 1, then go to your project window and duplicate the scene 1 comp. Hold Alt and drag over the Scene 1 comp layer. Move Scene 2 comp layer, where our Scene 1 transition animation start. Then open Scene 2. Now we also need to replace Media 1 comp layer, so go to Project Window, and duplicate the Media 1 comp. Hold Alt and drag Media 2 comp over the Media 1 comp layer, then open Media 2. Now also replace the image placeholder 1, so again go to project window and duplicate image placeholder 1 comp, then hold alt and drag image placeholder 2 comp over the image placeholder 1, now open it and change your image. Also replace your second image placeholder 1 layer. Cool. Now create background layer, so create a new white solid layer. This is our background layer. That's look perfect. We also need to change the animation of scene 2, so open scene 2 comp. Then open media 2. Select the image placeholder and press U to show keyframes, go to first keyframes, and move the position left side of the comp. And you can also change the rotation. Cool. Our animation has done, let's see the preview. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.